Welcome back to another SketchUp tutorial series. And in fact, this one is going to be setting up a project for Layout. Layout is the, pro is the software where you can take your project and create and create construction documents with it. And so what we want to do is we're taking the plan set nine project that we finished in the other series and we're going to go through and set everything up for layout layout references your sketchup file so we need to set this file up so that we have all the scenes available to us and all the line work everything that we're going to need in order to have access to it over in layout if we don't create a scene we don't over here in, in uh, SketchUp, we won't see it in layout. So at the very end of the project, we have five scenes that we created. So we had a front scene, we had an ISO scene, we had a back view, we had an interior shot, and then we had a colored wood tags. And so if you already have view set up, we can just use those and reuse those and change what the, how they're gonna look. So let's go back up to this front view. And with this front view, I actually want to change the camera to a parallel projection. That's gonna get us that front elevation view. I'm going to Let's hide that. We're going to come in here. We're going to expand everything out. Once you do that, we need to update our scene. So we're going to click on this little right here. Everything is checked. So this is, it's updating your camera location, updating any kind of visible tags, etc. So if you uncheck these, like if I uncheck camera location, it's not going to update the camera location for here. It would still be in the other location. Click on this little show details. Here down here, you can again see all the different properties. You can also rename it. So I'm actually going to do front elevation. I'm going to bring that one up. So we moved up our back view and we're going to use that view still. Um, but let's go and create a new scene in between these. Let's go ahead and change the name of the scene from scene six or whatever yours is um, to the um, right elevation. And then if you can use this toolbar, which you can find by going to view toolbars um, and clicking on views, I also tend to check um, tags, styles, sections, and I use the large tool set instead of the getting started tool set. Here you can, you can go through to figure out which one's mine kind of backwards. So the front view is this side view. Um, so the side, the view I want is actually this right side. Again, you're going to set that up. You're going to, again, we're still using that parallel projection. Once you get it looking the way you want to, you'll click on the little update scenes icon and update that scene. We can go through to the back view. Again, I want to hide our person and again and you saw how we hit it with the front view but with the back view it was unhidden it was unhidden so what you do with one scene you can do vastly different things with your other scene so let's go ahead and change this one again to that parallel projection update that scene let's go ahead and add in the next scene, and this is going to be the left elevation. I 
So we have that. Let's go ahead and update it. We have our isometric view, which is fine. Let's go ahead and I'm going to hide her. Reset everything. Let's go ahead and update that. Here we can go about doing a couple different things. Let's go ahead and set up a parallel projection. And let's create a couple of different scenes. So here we can do a we can turn a one into the front a front kitchen view. Let's go ahead and add in another one. Let's name this one a two. And let's actually just go over to our closet. And we can use that as one of our other interior scenes. So here, let's go ahead and add in another scene. Let's go here to type in A3. And if you click on this little icon up here, that should bring up your section plane. If it doesn't, what that means is over here in your outliner panel, you probably have it hidden like I do. So this is our section plane right here. Let's go ahead and toggle that on. And now you'll see our section plane. The reason we want this is that we can come in here and make it our active cut. We could also reverse it. So if we click on reverse, now the opposite side of our project is there. So if we wanted a living room view, we come in here, move that there. We can again, hide that view. And also up here, the reason everything is black is because we have this display section field. You can also, you can turn that off and you'll see all the different sections. Set up your Parallel projection. Let's go back over to our scenes and let's go ahead and update that scene. Next, let's go ahead and add in another. Let's go ahead and toggle off our section cut. Let's go ahead and actually create another one. So click on this icon here. I named it top view. Um, then we're going to select it move the move tool and I'm going to bring this up to around the four foot mark. I want to go ahead and hide that view. Click on my upper view. And now we have a cross cut of a floor plan that we can use. So let's go ahead and update this. And there is our floor plan. You also have various styles that we can use. So let's make a copy of that floor plan and let's change the style. So when we get into our styles, we can change the, how things look and how the project looks through our styles. So right now I have my default style is this architectural design style. If I come over here and I want white background, I can click on shaded if without textures. I can come in here to construction document style and have that selected. We could also go in here to 
some of our straight lines and if we just want line work we could do that right there so let's go ahead and use that straight lines one make sure my section plane is turned off and let's go ahead and update that scene this warning will come up so yes we want to save that as a new style and there we go now we have that new scene with line work so let's go ahead and select that right there and let's go ahead and change that to floor plan line work so now what we'll do in our next video we will move over to layout create our template and then move forward with our project thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos in this playlist and on our channel